Oh, welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom, Le'Veon Bell, who's released by the, the Jets. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, and now signing with the Chiefs was actually rumored to be signing. Uh, the Dolphins were in the running there for a while as well. And um, listen, the mess that the New York Jets are as a franchise with Adam Gaze. I could have told all you Jet fans uh, years ago, uh, before you hired Adam Gaze, what a, a, a complete bad signing that would be. But again, I'm just your average Joe Schmo. Who am I? You know, so with the Jets, with the dysfunctionality of the Jets, for all you cheap fans that worry about the attitude of um, Le'Veon Bell, because that's the, uh, some of the comments that I've seen, uh, you worry about his attitude. Well, I wouldn't worry about his attitude necessarily. Keep in mind the Jets are a dysfunctional team. Keep in mind that, you know, uh, one person wanted him, the other person did not want him, um, and, and didn't really uh, do all his best to kind of cater to his strengths and that offensive line to factor that in of the Jets is piss poor. So you got a couple of things there working. I think this makes a total sense. You finally have a, a back of his talent um, that, that, you know, in between the tackles to help take the load off of, you know, um, Edwards Hilaire. This will help, I think, Edwards Hilaire's abilities, in my opinion, make him even more dynamic in your offense. I do agree, you know, they could be a new dynamic duo, duo. Hilaire and uh, Edwards. You know, Honey Badger said, come over here, let's talk. <laughs> so, you need help in short yardage. And he's excellent insurance as a third down back as well. If something would happen. Listen, he went to uh, New York for the money. Came to Kansas City to win. Listen, he was, you could, listen, uh, from New York, he was a leader and a team guy when he was a Jack. Seems to be all types of um, contradiction, <laughs> contradicting each other, and there's no low gloss between these two. You know, uh, between Gaze and uh, Le'Veon Bell. Gaze just doesn't communicate with his players. Does not. You know, Bell, I think, is going to be to Clyde what Alex was to Patrick. They run the ball very similar. Both are very patient to set up blocks and then cut. If you get a motivated Bell, which I think you will, it's game over. Set him up to get, you know... You, He's experienced. And remember, he took a year off, so he's not as banged up uh, as most running backs are. And, and Clyde, listen, has some trouble getting short distance yardage scoring. This will help uh, him. And it kind of, you know, reminds me of an Adrian Peterson type of a way as well. And at worst case, if you are worried about his quote-unquote attitude and you're not taking uh, what I'm telling you from a New Yorker, at worst case, from what I understand, he, he's uh, Chris Jones or Buds off the field. So I think, you know, at worst case, Chris Jones would be able to balance him in the locker room. So. Love this signing. The run it back tour is in full swing.
The, listen, the last two teams you have played are going away from the Blitz. Listen, the last two teams that the Chiefs played are going away from the Blitz because Mahomes tears that apart. Defense like Vegas and Patriots are playing uh, deep zone and, and, and tap two. And only, uh, and, and you know, uh, only rushing three or four guys and having success. The rest of the NFL will do the same, seeing it's the only way to slow down, slow down Mahomes and the offense. Kingdom, Le'Veon Bell.